Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, uh, great dear friends and lovers of freedom. This is Radio Biafra House of Service coming to you through the auspices of Radio Biafra London. My name remains Mars Jonathan Chinedu of Olu Province in Biafra Land. Today is the third day of August in the year of our Lord 2021. Without wasting time, we shall go directly to the HOD of the indigenous people of Biafra, Maazi Chika Edosiem. Maazi, please welcome over to you. The platform is yours. Thank you. Thank you very much, Maazi Jonathan. I hope I'm coming out clear. You are coming out crystal clear. Go on. Good evening. Good afternoon, good morning, and good night to you, great bear friends, wherever you may be, depending on your time zone at this very hour. My name is Maozi Chika Edoziem. I come from Ihe Oma. Ihe Oma is in Biafra land. And by the grace of Elohim Chukokikabiyama Premenine, I serve the indigenous people of Biafra in the Directorate of State as the Head of Directorate. Dear friends, first of all, let me bring greetings from the leader of this great movement, Onyen Dumazen to the IPOB family worldwide. Of course, it is in the public domain that after some usual game of the zoo the our council the lawyers of the IPOB were finally granted access to see our leader and from that visit he sends his regards to the Biafran family worldwide and of course we know that as he told us that in this struggle that we have embarked upon, he will not disappoint their friends. And it is only their friends that may disappoint him, but I can assure you that this great family will not disappoint when you can. It is important that I speak to Brafrans this evening on very, very important issues. The first of which is the ghost town complete lockdown of Biafra land, which will commence on the night of this month, August 2021. You know, people have been expressing one view or the other, or one concern or the other. But I want to let people to understand that the Biafran people, the IPOB family worldwide, and those of us in the homeland of Biafra, we are ready to do anything that humanity can do that is humanly possible as a sacrifice to ensure that Oyendu, the leader of this movement, is released unconditionally and sooner than later. And our civic action of locking down Biafra land on a weekly basis, once a week, on Mondays, in conjunction with the protests still going on around the world, in addition to our forays in the diplomatic arena, and of course, on the legal battlefield, we are prepared to give anything that can be given. We are prepared to do anything that can be done 
we are prepared to make the sacrifices that should be made for our leader, Oyen Dumazdan, to rejoin us very soon. Therefore, those who are expressing concerns, what they should be focusing on and what they should be directing their energies upon is to join hands with this great family, IPOB Worldwide, to make sure that Oyendu is unconditionally released. And to the politicians in Biafra land, the governors especially, those of them that one way or the other has soiled their hands in this criminal extraordinary rendition of Onyendu from Kenya to Nigeria. My advice to them this night is that they must omit what they have made. And what do I mean? They should know the way they contributed money, the way they gathered themselves together and brought whose sums of money to commit this crime. That is the same way they must, they must, they have no choice. They must gather again, contribute money, and re and extraordinary rendition our leader back from from back from Nigeria to Kenya where they they they, they, they did this crime in the first place. Bearing which our actions will continue until Oyendu regains his freedom and joins this family once again. So therefore, the governors and politicians in Biafra land, your work is simple. Don't come to us and start telling us, um, you know, giving us uh, mathematical and economic uh, figures. The Biafra people are not interested in that. What they are interested in is to have their leader back with us. What we are interested in is to have our leader back with us. And that must be done expeditiously and without any delay. It is not enough for us that our, of course, we are, we are, we are, we are happy that the lawyers were, were able to see him and could confirm uh, that um, he is relatively well, health-wise. But that is not what interests us. We are not interested in hearing from our lawyers that Onion is well or not. What the Biafran family is interested in is a, an unconditional release of Onion Do sooner than later. And like I said, if we do not if he is not released on or before the 8th of August, our action will continue on all fronts. And I mean on all fronts. That, therefore, I am mobilizing the Biafran family in Biafran land that the 9th of August is a date that we have to meet with history. Now, the second matter that I need to talk about and which concerns not just the, the, the IPOB family, but it relates to a great extent to anybody or everyone that has been saddled with any form of responsibility as a principal officer from the least unit to our zones, from the zones to states, from states to nations, and from nations to continents. We have principal servants who have responsibility 
of all these different structures that we have in IPOB. It is not a new thing. And all of us understand what we say or what we mean when we say chain of command. You report to the next officer above you. And it goes up to that, to the top, and stops at the table of Onyen Dumazi the supreme leader of this very great movement. Why am I talking about chain of command this evening? Ordinarily, I do not come on air or come on social media to engage in what Oyendo will call Tito Tato. I do not do that. But it has become very important, very essential that we put a stop to some of the irrelevant and unnecessary distractions that we are getting online and of course sometimes on our radio. Our principal servants are clear and known. Anybody who has the responsibility as a principal officer, they are known. And if you're a coordinator of whatever form or in whichever form, you do not receive instruction from any person apart from those in that coordinator's hierarchy. A coordinator, you do not take instructions from the finance department. A coordinator, you do not take instructions from the media department. A coordinator, you do not take instructions from the legal department and all the other departments that we may have. And we have seen with our time that some principal servants tend to go beyond their area of authority and jurisdiction and begin to give instructions to coordinators which they do not have that mandate to do. I'm hoping that tonight will be the last time I will talk or speak on this issue. If you are in any doubt, go and take up your code of conduct and study it again. Study it again and make sure it stays. That will help you to work efficiently and effectively. That will, that will help you to avoid distractions. That will help you to focus on the area that you are supposed to focus. I will not finish this very number two topic without mentioning that our brother, Mazda Kinsley Kano, is a Biafran. And of course, he has, as a Biafran, as IPOB family member, he has to make his views known. But Mazda Kinsley Kano does not have the authority to issue instructions to IPOB principal servants. You, who is a principal servant that is taking instructions from outside of the structure, you have yourself to blame. You will have yourself to blame. If after tonight, that rubbish continues again. Mazi Kinsley Kano is an IPOB member. Of course, many of us know that he is a blood relation to Oyendu. It does not give him any power to issue instructions to IPOB principal servants and to the IPOB family worldwide. And I hope he will advise himself properly. Now, finally, 
the last matter that I need to speak about here, and I'm asking their friends to pay very close attention. IPOB Worldwide Family, we had an account opened in the United States of America by the leader of this movement, and we gave it the name ESN account. Of course, that's not the name it was written, but we know when, when we say it is an account for ESN, we know what that means. That simply means that funds raised on behalf of the ESN contributions on behalf of the ESN goes into that account. Of course, we also have um, another account here in, in, in uh, Italy that was also meant for Europeans to be pulling their ESM funds together. But this does not in any way detract from the fact that we have a worldwide ESN account. And when this account was shut down as a result of what has transpired. A new account has been opened. And that new account will serve the same purpose as the one that was closed. Meaning, this new account will be an account for ESN contributions, ESN fundraisings all over the world. If you raise funds in the name of ESN, Eastern Security Network, you have to send that money to this new account. I'll give you the name, I'll give you the particulars in a moment. And anybody who wishes or desires to support the ESN that are on the ground, in the bushes, making sure that our forests are safe for our mothers, making sure that our forests are safe for our fathers and our relatives to go and do their usual farm work. This account is there to provide them every logistics that they will require to carry out their functions and duties effectively. Therefore, all the controversy about account must cease tonight. And the new account for ESN goes as follows. I'm going to rush through this, but the information regarding this account is already in the possession of every continental rep, and all our continental rep must ensure that this account is also made available to where we have regional reps. This account must be made available to them and the regional reps in turn and of course continental reps where we don't have regions will ensure that these accounts are made available to their national coordinators and the national coordinators will disseminate this account down to the family to the last man to the last unit and people can begin from now from this moment to pay in their ESN support funds into that account. If you have raised funds and you are holding it for ESN, please, you have the directive this very moment to make sure that that fund is transmitted or transferred into the new ESN account. And the account name is this, Umu Eri. 
Harodi Areli in USA Corporation. Once again, the name of the account is Umu Eri Arodi Areli in USA Corporation. This account is domiciled with the Bank of America and the account number goes this way. your meat um i realized i was a moot i wouldn't know if um you you no, no the the account number please you mention it is from there okay. you tell yourself here yeah. okay I'm, I'm sorry about it now the account number let me repeat it please my apologies four four six zero four eight seven 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 nine nine one again four four six zero four eight seven 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 nine nine one the routing number goes this way zero five two zero zero one six three three zero five two zero zero one six three three this is the routing number and you can pay as well or make your contributions through zelle and the zelle email address is omutoko five six seven at gmail.com you can as well make your contributions by zelle and the zelle email address is umuchuku 567 at gmail.com additionally people can make their contributions if they go to ipob in usa.org website that is our official website in usa if you go there you will see the donation buttons and you can make your donation and for those outside of usa there will be a need for sweet Swift co a code when you are transferring funds from as of the United States into United States. There will be a Swift code, and that Swift code is as well also available. So, um, all this information that I have set out this, this very moment, they contain in the information or the notice that your coordinators will make available to their friends worldwide and i do not hope that we will be talking about issue of esn fund going forward because for me that is quite unnecessary i I am, I am to some extent disappointed that people have been regurgitating this matter on and on and on and again and um, creating the impression, creating the impression that we are focused on ESN fund when our leader is languishing in the hands of the enemy. 
that actually must not be the case and that is not the case therefore anyone 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 i repeat who begins or comes after tonight to talk about whether this account is authentic or not then ask that person what his or her interest is everyone must focus on the duties assigned to them be on your goal post and carry out your functions and leave the rest for those who has that mandate to carry them out this information i am giving this night is a directive a directive as if mind my word as if this directive is coming from Oyendu, that is the way every one of us must if you're an ipov family member your principal officer that is the way all of us must adhere to this very instruction tonight because going forward there will be no excuses there will be no excuses and we must refocus our energy we must recommit ourselves to our objective our objective has not changed the long-term objective has not changed it will not change until we have achieved that objective our short and immediate term objective at this moment is nothing else than that the leader of this great movement oyendu mazindam the kano is released unconditionally because he has committed no crime self-determination or the call for self-determination or the agitation for self-determination is not a crime and to who the call for referendum is not a crime it is a right i i i i, I understand that the british government they said they will not they will not they said um go against the will of the scottish people if they decide to go for a second referendum if they decide he, they said now millions of biafrans are calling for a referendum for us to make a decision on how we must govern ourselves for us to make a decision in respect to our social political economic and cultural way of life and values and we are being massacred a second genocide is ongoing in our land i understand as well um that the new in thing now is the unknown soldiers turning into unknown government they want to create an unexisting confusion in our land but we are there we are waiting for them the biafran people are waiting for them if they know what is good for them they must release onyendu if not our people are getting impatient we have a right to demand for referendum and we have the right as well to agitate for self-determination it is not only an international right that is guaranteed it is not only a right that is guaranteed by the african charter on people's rights
every indigenous nations or indigenous people. And the Biafran people, we are the indigenous people of Biafra. And we fall squarely under the protection of these laws and of these charters. I want to state that if the politicians in Biafra land are thinking, oh, let's 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 take their leader and keep him somewhere and then use the opportunity to conduct elections to come and deceive Biafrans again. I want to tell them that they are they are they are trapped of course um has has caught something that is not edible i want to tell them that in biafra land if oyendu does not come out there shall be no election and no electioneering campaign in Biafra land, and we will start with Anambra State. Quote me, Mazi Chikedozem, today is the 3rd of August, 2021. If the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra does not rejoin us sooner, if they think, the politicians think that they want to keep him and have the elections, I say again that they are, they will be disappointed because very, very big disappointment. I want, I, 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 I stress to say, because there will be no election in Biafra land. We are not making threats. We are telling you what we're going to do. There will be no election, not in Anambra and not in any part of Biafra land. But I believe, and I know, that our leader will come out. And when he comes out, of course, he has the prerogative to make a decision going forward. But before he comes, but bearing that, there will be no election in Biafra land. And this is from the Directorate of State of the Indigenous People of Biafra, the institution that our leader has put in place to pilot the affairs of this movement until he rejoins us. Let me close by saying that this Biafra we pursue, it is, it is beyond a struggle. This Biafra we pursue is the desire of the Biafran people to return to our ways or to the ways of our ancestors. It is a Biafra where the children born and yet unborn shall be able to develop their Chukwokike given talents for the benefit of the Biafran people as well. Therefore, we cannot see the bright future in Biafra. We cannot see the future of our children and decide not to make that to be possible and decide not to create that environment upon which they will develop their talents and reach their dreams and goals. Into the hand of Chukwu Abiyama, I commend and commit our leader Yendu Mazina and the Kano. He, the Alpha Elohim, the Omega, Chukwu Kikeka Dibia in any way that our leader may feel unwell, I ask Chukwabiyama to lay his healing hands upon him. 
to confound the, our enemies, to confound those who are collaborating with our enemies to subjugate us and to take over our ancestral land. May Chukwabiyama not allow their, their plans to work. May he continue to guide, may he continue to envelop, to preserve, to strengthen, to fill Mazin Namdekano with his spirit so that like he promised and like he said, I will not disappoint you. In my question, and we have seen it, we have seen that he is not disappointing us. He did not disappoint us. In the first time they took him and incarcerated him for two years, tortured him, he did not disappoint us when um, those who kidnapped him urinated and poured it on him. He did not disappoint, he did not abandon Biafra. Are we going to, are we the Biafran people, are we? That's the question now I'm asking all of you. Are you going to disappoint Onyendo Mazina and the Kano? Mazichi Kedozim will not disappoint Onyendo. And I believe that all of us who came out without prodding on the 26th to even close your businesses, your, your, the, your source of income, your source of livelihood, you closed it. Nobody prodded you, nobody asked you. Those of you that carried out such noteworthy action will not disappoint on Yendo. And that is why I laugh when people say, ah, oh, you don't think about people who are at home. The people at home, they are even more committed than many of us in the diaspora because they leave everything that brings them income they give it to ensure that their voices are heard, to ensure that their leader does not suffer untold hardship in the hands of the evil and wicked zoo government. And may all of you as well continue in this very struggle, all of you, I believe that after tonight, clarity must have been set and any other person or any person who, who does not or who is still not uh, clear on the path to follow probably um, has something not quite in order with that person because this movement from the one has a structure and that structure we have maintained it up to this moment and we will maintain it until our leader joins us thank you so much for listening this evening and we will go back to continue our works where we left it off and may chukwa biyama bless the indigenous people of biafra world worldwide May Chukwu Kikabiyama bless those who support what we are doing. <clears throat> they may not be Biafrans, but they support us. May Chukwu Kikabiyama bless them as well. And may Chukwu Kikabiyama grant us exceeding victory against all our enemies. In Chukwabiyama's name, I have prayed. And from me, from here, I want to say good night. Great dear friends.
Baba Zing. Shalom Alecha. It's a tribute. And we're in Yahweh. To a consort. The commander is a I wonder what I give you. Sabo governor, Omo was here. Pugisi on the Maran who did not Pugisi. Our life can do one of Pugisi. Never look in a one take a walk in. Never look some guys of a way again. Nigga was up. Mako Barachi naked. I want any good. So, how much is so like a good? So, they have not got some. Sabo got some. They have not got some. We got one million. They couldn't suck. They have not got some. Full and never talk about some. <laughs> Babylon getting people insane. Same. When I got me a motherfucking brain. Money out sign, all about time. Let them know I be on my ground. Right. With them strategic weapon, full of niggas, man. Them are getting so obvious. This time around, they can get us. We are coming out and we are easy. Babylon, Nigeria, and Pupete control the zoo for fuel and kerosene. Don't tell me how to burn. When you don't tell me how to run. I'm good on garlic and lemon. God got me on Zenon. Respect the man, man. Them are scared to run. Get back to the dark. They come all the way from Hollywood to show me what they want me believe in. Why Christ all shit? Got my beast out of its feet. <laughs> Man, I'm still a Negro. How I believe the world's a slavery. This and believe you give to Igbo in Africa. Be a man, I'm killing my family. I'm a big one like he comes, sir. Pull a nibba, tag a boss, sir. Chubaha ESL, Chubani the jaw, Chubaga of a dancer. ESL, my funny more of you when you came on Luke was in a bathia. When you're trying to get not to batash, I'm going to come full of it to me, she's a bathia. I am one of the leaders in the sea. Sabo governor, boys, you're a boogie sea. On the Maron, you're not a boogie sea. Now, I'm London, it's in the good and the medicine. Evil Lonely, I want to get a baggy. Evil Lonely, Sabo boys, if I'm waggy. Hmm, he got one son. Mako Balachine, he got one of the good son. I'm a son of the good son. Yeah, that's some. Full of him, but I got one some. Yeah, that's some. We got one million in concert. Yeah, that's some. 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 The sari ki don't they talk? Sari ki full and it don't they talk? Say the vibe is dead, no deceive. When Jeffra come, we go chill on Shabbat Eve. Niggas, let's come and be shot. I'm allergic to success. We go win the disease. I'm a big song like he comes up. Pull a nigga, tag a boss up. Chubaha ESN, Chubani the jaw, Chubaga of a dancer. ESN, no one more from a king when king no look for sissy no boss ya. When you chalo the nuts to the touch, I book up my full and it's finished. I am one of one I get in this sabo govern no boy see ya pugisi on the maron no dey na pugisi our life is on the bunny bunny pussy check people lo ni le want say the body people lo sabo boy say fan way nigga boss up my command team nigga get what they need come so how much you like to go sir yeah bro that's some full of me but like a boss up yeah bro that's some we got one million in come so yeah bro that's some yeah bro that's some yeah bro that's some yeah bro that's some Yeah, bro, that's some. Full of me, but I got bossa. Yeah, bro, that's some. We got one million in concert. Yeah, bro, that's some. Yeah, bro, that's some.